So in the Kendrick Lamar diss track, Euphoria, which we talked about ad nauseum in the last segment, Mm -hmm. my sister brought up a lot of his disses, Mm -hmm. but one of the disses is that he criticized Drake's blackness and street credibility. He instructs Drake not to say the N-word, accuses him of faking for likes and digital hugs, suggests that Drake isn't fully embraced by the black culture. He also criticized Jake's fashion choices, suggests that Drake wears Tommy Hilfiger, a designer regarded dis- uh, trustfully in the hip hop community because, you know, Tommy was racist. No, he ne- that never happened. It really never happened. <laughs> well, that's the myth in the black community. Okay? Yes. That Tommy was racist. But but you're saying that it was not true. No. So we're on, here on Unsolicited Perspectives. You can wear Tommy Hilfiger again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> even, even Tommy said, because the rumor came out that he said it on Oprah. He's like, I had never even been on Oprah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so Kendrick Lamar also questions how many black features Drake needs in, until he finally feels like he's black enough. Mm-hmm. Drake has a quest, has qu- responded to a lot of these attacks on his, on his blackness. Through various interviews, in one in the Village Voice, Drake opened up about people's comments on his skin tone. He said, I mean, I'm so light that people are like, you're white. That's what I get more than anything. People saying you're white, you're not black. He also addressed the light skin complex, saying that it's it's a very American thing, uh, light skin and dark skin, and that he didn't even notice it. That girls would be like, oh, you, you speak to dark skin girls? And he was like, yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? He's also talked about growing up biracial and the impact that this had on him. Mm -hmm. So my problem with everything that has to do about this is not only Kendrick has piggybacked off of Rick Ross attacking Drake's blackness with Rick Ross calling him a white boy. Let's be clear. Drake is mixed. His Mm -hmm. mom is white, Jewish, white, Jewish, white. Okay. Jewish. She's Jewish. That's not a race. She's white. Well, no, she's Jewish. That's and a religion. Jewish is an ethnicity as well. Yeah, but it's not a race. She's white. Oh, don't get me started on. The, come on, you know the definition of white is a definition created by Americans. Yes, and that it's a moving, sliding scale. We call her white. She's Canadian. They might not call her white. That's, okay, again, that's her nationality. Race, ethnicity, nationality, these are all different things. Race. Okay, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get into that. I don't want to get into that. Okay. Okay. His mom's not black. Mm-hmm. Fair? Yes. His dad is absolutely black. Yes. He's half black. Yes. And I'm getting tired of people in the black community moving this sliding scale on what is actually blackness, what is actually accepted as black. He's black. That yes. that is what it is. Yes. Okay. So I'm getting pissed off. At Rick Ross attacking his blackness. Mm-hmm. Now Kendrick Lamar talking his blackness, saying he's not accepted in the black culture. He is absolutely accepted in the black culture because I'm a fan of his. And I am. You black. Black. I'm black, yeah. y'all. And yeah. I'm black, y'all. And I'm bliggity black. And I'm black, y'all. Listen, listen. Now, I'm we a not, proud we black not the, man. We're not the darkest, but we could trace our lineage back to but, enslavement. But I'm getting tired of that conversation. <laughs> yeah. That, that we do. That. We talk about colorism in our own community, yes. and that is a white supremacist ideology mm-hmm. that's been passed down to us, and we need to stop doing it because we discredit one another mm-hmm. by doing so. There's this idea that if you're light-skinned, that you're soft as a mm-hmm. male. If mm-hmm. you're a light-skinned male, that's soft. If you're a dark-skinned male, then you're hard. If you're a dark-skinned female, you're not as pretty as a light-skinned female, Right. Spike Lee did a whole movie about this yeah. in school days that I implore everybody to go and watch if you want to get an idea of what we truly are like in our own community. And my and this second is all... favorite Spike Lee film. Yes. First one being Malcolm X? No, my f- the first one is Crooklyn. Uh, Crooklyn. Yeah. I knew it was going to be Crooklyn. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie, though. It is. But that we do, and, and it's a learned behavior that we put these categories in. So because Drake is light skinned, what? He's not hard. He's not hard because he's Canadian. Yes. Okay. Let's that's, be clear. That's, that's, that's the reason why he's not hard. But he never claims to be a thug. He doesn't rap about thug stuff. He doesn't rap about shooting or killing. He's rapping about women and partying. Mm-hmm. 
Now, the people that are attacking them, I don't got no smoke for Kendrick Lamar. I got plenty of smoke for Rick Ross, and I yeah. am a huge, huge fan of Rick Ross. Yeah. But Rick Ross constantly talking about, I'm the boss. I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover, when he was a correctional officer. Right. He's, he's the epitome of faking it. If anybody should have been rejected by the black culture, it should have been him for lying about who he was on wax. But you can't really do that for rappers because the majority of them are lying about themselves. But this idea that Drake isn't being, I have a friend of mine, uh, a professor, he's black and he's light skinned as well. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't like Drake. And I'm like, why don't don't you like Drake? He He ain't for the culture like us. I was like, I don't understand how he's not for the culture when all he does is music for us. Because he's not, he's not American. And I think I get, I get the, the, uh, that idea of there is a particular camaraderie between black Americans. I mean, he's not American. So there is there is a black American culture that we created that's born here. When we say the culture, we're talking about that. And so a Canadian artist can, you know, come in here and and rap and participate and all of that and cool. But I get that kind of feeling of like, mm, there's still some sort of disconnect because he's Canadian. But I is it because, I, because he's Canadian or is it because he's light skinned or both? I, th- I think it's because he's Canadian. That's but they're what not I saying think. you're not American. Rick Ross is dead ass wrong. Okay. And but Kendrick Lamar isn't. Kendrick Lamar isn't. And now here's where you and I are gonna differ because again, I my major is in literature. So when I read the lyrics, I read them to comprehend what's being said. And what, <laughs> oh, like, so I'm reading them for what? If I'm not trying to comprehend what's being said, like, what am I, I mean, reading them I for? I mean, I'm I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do an analysis from a different perspective. Okay, so yeah, say that. Don't say I'm reading to understand what was said. All You're right, just I'm reading. Gonna, I'm gonna say it, I said it wrong. All right, yeah. I mean, thugs <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mess up sometimes. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. What he is saying in here is he's faking for likes and digital hugs. He said, I liked the old Drake. I don't like Drake getting tough. What he's criticizing when he says, I hate, I, 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 where he basically goes, runs down how he's a hater. I hate the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you <laughs> yeah. sneak this. I hate the women that you engage with. Like, I, I hate it. He's talking about this new Drake that he doesn't like. What new Drake? He said, I liked old melodic Drake. I, what is that? I, I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he acts tough. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what he said. He's criticizing that. And what, he's, what he says is, how many more fairy tale stories about your life till we've had enough? How many more black features till you feel, finally feel like you're black enough? Till you finally feel like you're black enough. I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he acts tough. He's He is talking about this accent that he affects, this different way of dressing and walking and talking and all of these things. This is kind of fake persona that Drake has is cultivating because what Kendrick is saying is that Drake doesn't feel black enough. And that there may be some truth to that because he says he has a complex of, of like many people that are mixed have a complex of what am I? Yeah, so I get it's that. a real, that's a My real question, thing. If you like that clip, go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all of our latest content. Don't forget to hit the notification button when you do subscribe so you can get updated every time we release content. We release content every day, whether it's an actual show or clips from the show. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Also, don't forget our Patreon page where you can find our Talking Straight Ish and After Hours Uncensored episodes. That's patreon.com backslash unsolicited perspective. But once again, 
Thank you again for listening to Unsolicited Perspectives. I'm your host, Bruce Anthony, and I'm going to catch you next time. I'll holla.